Hey, what is up, you two? <laughs> Back in the Black Ops 3 heydays, there was a lot of challenges going around. Uh, there was a six perk challenge, the mothership challenge, and the 50 tag kill confirmed challenge. Fast forward to COD World War II, <laughs> and a lot of players have moved on to greener pastures, <coughs> Fortnite, <laughs> or uh, they went back to playing previous more enjoyable CODs. And if they do still play World War II, it's very sparingly, usually teaming up with a friend or two. Uh, so I recently started playing Kill Confirm, and if you haven't played Kill Confirm, I suggest you give it a try. It is a lot of fun. So as I'm playing Kill Confirm, I decided that I'm going to come up with a challenge. Uh, now leading up to this challenge, with all the Kill Confirm games I've played, I've never seen a player get 30 or more tags. Uh, and I did a little research to see if there was any kill confirmed challenges out there. And the only one that I found was a one man 65 tag confirmed challenge. Uh, you party up with your group and one man is the designated tag getter. Uh, and if you can get all 65 tags, you completed the challenge. Uh, so the more I played, I was like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll go for 20 tags and then 25 tags. And my ultimate goal was getting 30 tags. I've seen several players easily get 20 plus tags, a few get 25 or more, but never 30 confirms. Now I thought 30 tags would be similar to the 50 tag confirmed challenge in BO3. Uh, kill confirm in BO3 was 100 tags to win, and World War II was only 65. And when I first completed this challenge, my Elgato wasn't recording. I was pissed, uh, but I stayed in the lobby and pushed forward, and I end up getting two back to back 30 plus games. Uh, this gameplay in the background, it is the better of the two. And this map, St. Dumont, is tailored made for this challenge. With the hot spot being that building in the middle. Uh, and where I typically flank the enemy in other game modes, this challenge it a, is a straight to the enemy challenge. Time isn't on your side, so you really don't got time to flank. I mean, I go off in this gameplay. Not only do I complete the challenge, but I get a shitload of kills and my kill streaks, <laughs> well, kill streak goes in. But I'll talk about kill streaks later. Now, the hardest part of this challenge was figuring out what the best setup would be. My division setup was a no brainer. Airborne division is a must and you should combine it with the energetic ribbon. Uh, I'm using the PPSH. I've tried most of the SMGs. So choose whatever SMG you like. I don't think this challenge could be completed using anything but an SMG. Uh, not an AR and definitely not an LMG. Now, I have completed this challenge about 10 times. In about 7 out of them 10 times, I was using Airborne with Energetic. In this particular gameplay, I'm running Airborne with Concuss so I can spam my lethals and tacticals. But like I said, Airborne with Energetic is probably the easiest way to complete this challenge. And if you've never used Airborne with Energetic, <laughs> you feel like Barry Allen. <laughs> this is the Forrest Gump setup. And your number one goal is to grab every single tag you see. Uh, killing the enemy is an afterthought. You taking tags from the enemies you kill. You taking tags from your teammates, enemies. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, PR and uh, Blizzo. I mean, you don't got time to figure out whether that tag is an enemy that you kill or your teammates tag of the enemy that they kill. You got to have tunnel vision. Now calling in kill streaks can cost you tags. After attempting this challenge for weeks using various different kill streaks, uh, I would always end up like two or three off my 30 tags because it takes away precious time calling in streaks and placing them on the map. And a lot of times my teammates would pick up my tags or I end up killing myself with my own streaks. I have tried running high kill streaks with requisition, but calling in a lot of those higher streaks made the map shake <laughs> and made the map too chaotic. Uh, I think running high streaks is pointless in this challenge. So after a lot of trial and error, my go-to streaks was a UAV, counter UAV, and Molotov cocktail. Now prior to attempting this challenge, I never ran with the uh, Molotov cocktail. But you'll see at the end of this game, my cocktail goes in. Now I have asked some of my YouTube buddies if they played Kill Confirm and how many tags they've gotten. <laughs> And I know uh, Boots and Monkey is attempting this challenge. And if you don't know who Boots is, he's a newer YouTuber uh, that I found on TSG. Real cool dude. And typically, after you've uh, completed a challenge, you pass it on to somebody. So Boots, uh, keep at it, man. And I also want to pass this challenge off to Mighty in Christ, a Beast Cod player and another really cool dude. Mighty, I know you said uh, you try Kill Confirm, so hopefully you'll take the challenge. 
uh, my list of Kai World War II players is small, and my list of Kai World War II kill confirmed players is even smaller. <laughs> and Gotham, heir of Gotham, I know you rarely play this game, but you're very competitive like me. So if you decide to play World War II, give the challenge a try. This is Bootney Farnsworth, the commentator, formerly known as the only pugilistic COD commentator in the business.